Here are my notes for chapter uh, 1.2 in your textbook. It's on solving multi-step equations. And here's my tutorial on it. So for multi-step equations, you're looking at the order of operations um, to figure out what is being done to your variable. So the order of operations is parentheses, exponents, that's uh, any number raised to a number that's uh, denoted by this um, superscript x. Uh, multiplication and division done from left to right, and addition and subtraction done from left to right as well. Note that multiplication isn't in front of division or vice versa. Uh, you just read it from left to right. Same with addition and subtraction. You read it from left to right. So the process. Uh, first, Find the first, second, third operation being done to the variable by applying the order of operations. And second, the operation that was applied last to the variable has its inverse applied first to both sides of the equation, to both sides of the equal sign. And the second to last operation now gets its inverse applied second working backwards. So for example, if I have uh, 2x minus 5 equals 11, what is being done first? First, well, first x is being multiplied by 2. And then second, this whole thing's being subtracted by 5. And I got that from order of operations. Subtracted by 5. And you end up then doing that in reverse. So instead of subtracting by 5, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Add 5, add 5. You'll notice that um, terms drop out when you do this. So negative minus 5 plus 5 goes to 0. I'm left with 2x equals 16. And then second, instead of multiplying by 2, I have to divide by 2. I end up with x equals 8. And then you can plug it back in. So 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 5 does give me 11. So I know that's true. Here's examples. Um, one that gets mixed up often is when you have uh, a fraction with an expression in the numerator or denominator. Know that you have to do the, see it as parentheses around either the numerator or denominator. So first, x is being added by 4, added to 4. And then second, you're dividing the whole thing by 3. So if I'm going to do the opposite, opposite direction, so instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3, multiply both sides by 3. And you'll notice uh, 3 being multiplied up here is going to cancel out to the 3 to being divided. That goes to 1. And I'm left with x plus 4 equals 21. Then, uh, instead of adding 4, I subtract 4. Subtract 4, subtract 4, I get x equals 17. 17 plus 4 is 21. 21 divided by 3 gives me 7. That would have worked for my original. Yeah. Next, um, Negative 27 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 4. So because there's parentheses, we have to take that into account. So what is happening first to our variable? First, we are subtracting 4. And then second, we are multiplying by 3. So if I'm to reverse engineer that, um, instead of multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 goes to 1. And I'm left with negative 9 equals x minus 4. So instead of subtracting 4, I can add 4 to both sides. And I end up with x equals negative 5. And I can check my work. Nice.